Hello and welcome to Edit Empire's second video tutorial. I'm Colin Wagman and tonight I'm going to show you how to animate uh, a logo if you wanted to. I'm going to animate ours, the influenceengine.org, but here we go. All right, there it is. Uh, that was created by Mars, and then I went through and animated, and luckily all the layers were individual in the Illustrator file, and you can see some of the animation I did there in After Effects. Um, so let's create a new project. I'm going to right-click and say Import, very important. Find our Illustrator file, and then when it says Import As, I'm going to say Composition, and that's going to be very key here. And you can see I'll open this composition and I got all my layers there, which is awesome. So I create a new composition that's high definition, 10 seconds is fine. Uh, we're going to go full resolution. And then I'm going to go back to the composition from the Illustrator file, copy those files into the, to the new one, just to copy and paste. I've got everything selected, and so I'm moving it around with the arrow to center it. Um, Pretty easy standard stuff and then I'm going to reorganize my layers. Kind of as if you were in Photoshop just moving layers up and down in visibility. So I'm going to get those situated and then it's nice because you can see I have all the gears as separate layers. Very key. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go in and rotate the gear. But if I press R and open up the rotation and rotate it you can see it's not quite centered on its axis. So what you got to do is get in close and they're gonna go over and grab the pan behind tool and you're gonna drag the anchor point of each layer to the center of the rotation that you want so the center of the gear um, I click it do that for the first one and then I go go through and do it for all five of the gears and then I'm actually gonna do it for the E as well and the key for this is just so you they rotate from the center it makes life ten times easier um, and you can line it up perfectly if you want to or do it as best you can. Uh, it can be a little off. Uh, so there, we have them centered, which is great. So now I'm going to rotate again the gear. Again, if you just want to pop up the rotation uh, attribute, you just press R when you have a layer selected. So I'm going to go from one end to the next. So I put a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch and then I'm gonna scrub to the end and then I'm gonna add another keyframe by clicking the little add keyframe button there and then I'm gonna start dragging till I get the amount of rotations that I want and I know after doing the project one time that around three three rotations is a good amount so I got it at three there and if I play that back um, right now it's not real time so if I click back and play that again you can see that's real time and that looks like a good rotation not too fast not too slow. Um, now here's a little tricky part. I open the rotation attribute of the second gear and I'm going to alt click and this opens up what's called the expression area. Then I'm going to grab the pick whip and select the rotation of the first one. So basically if I were to play it would rotate exactly the same as the first one. But now I'm going to add on a little change to it. So I'm going to multiply it by negative point Eight. And so what this is going to do is rotate it in the opposite direction at basically 80% less than the first one. So if we watch this, it's going to rotate like that. And so that's awesome. And now I'm going to quickly go through and do that for all of them. Um, maybe changing the attributes a little like 0.8 for the next one and then negative 0.5 and changing it up. And the gears that are touching, you want to make sure they have the same rotation just in the opposite direction. So you can see I got it all done right there. This makes it easier later on. I can change one gear and all the rest change. So that saves a ton of time. Uh, next, I believe I am going to do the particles. All right. So the particles, um, what you're going to do is create a new solid layer. And you can just do red. And then you're going to type over in the effects uh, panel, particle, and then they should pop up. And I'm going to use particle world for this one. So I'm just going to drag that onto the layer, like so. And we got a nice grid, which we don't really want. So I'm going to click on grid and change that to off. 
And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the type of physics that it is. So that instead of having uh, like a broad explosion, we're going to do a directional axis. And then I'm adjusting the angle of it with the extra angle and then the extra. So you got that. And I'll probably rotate the layer a little bit to get it uh, more in the direction. Again, pressing R to rotate up. And then I just click and drag to move it into position. Rotate a little more like so. Uh, and then I can adjust extra to kind of get it to spread out a little bit. Um, maybe adjust the, the radius of the producer to make it come out of that smaller point a little bit better. And got that going right there. And again, zoom in. Uh, and then I'm going to move this particle emitter around a little bit. So we got it coming out right there, looking good. Maybe scale down the velocity a little bit. And then you can also um, rotate. And then if you press S, it pulls out the scale attributes. You can scale it up a little bit so that way it goes off screen once it gets there. And so that's looking like some good particles. Now I'm going to change the particle type to uh, something that's a little bit more suitable or something I want. It can be whatever you desire. I think I'm going to go with star. Uh, yeah, there you go. Stars, just like that. And then after that, I'm going to change the color to match uh, my layers colors already. So this one's going to be yellow. So I click on the yellow dot just to match it up to be the same exact color. Do that again. Good, I got some more color. Now, speed ahead. I'm going to do this and create the same particle system in red, green, and black. And what I do is I just duplicate it move the layer around a little bit to uh, get them out of the same area so they don't cover each other and there you go four layers green black yellow and orange um, and then right here I'm showing you uh, a third party one called uh, particular which kinda costs a lot of money but they have some cool particles uh, you can create really nice smoke with this one and it's actually what I use for our particular final project but in this one I just showed you how to use the particle world which you can do just as much in um, and you can see it's a little bit nicer and more refined next we're gonna rotate the E it's just as simple as rotating the circles um, I'm gonna do this one with actual keyframes so I place one keyframe and then match it up with the circle now I duplicated the layer and I'm gonna add an expression from motionscript.com this one is a pendulum decay basically um, it's a mathematical equation and I copy that and I paste that in there and if we were to watch that you would see it kind of go um, it's a little off because it starts in the wrong direction and then it doesn't have the amplitude that we want so I'm gonna put it at negative 130 because I've done this before uh, you can fool around in your projects to get what you want and then also our E is a little bit off on the f in its rotation so we're gonna add plus 25 to the equation to get it centered at the bottom of the circle when it starts. So I'm going to just add a plus 25 here. Five. So once you get that, the next thing to do is we're going to turn this equation into keyframes. So we go to animation, keyframe assistant, convert expression to keyframes. Wow, that's a lot of keyframes. Yes. So then if I click the graph, I can see where the peaks are. And I'm going to move to this peak. And then I'm going to switch back to the keyframes zoom in a bit and delete all the keyframes to the left and then I'm gonna select all the keyframes to the right and I'm gonna turn off this layer and go back to our original E like so place the marker at the high point right there and then click the rotation and paste command V so now once it gets to that high point it's gonna snap into that automatic animation where it swings back and forth although it's not really automatic because we have keyframes now and so now we've animated our E, we have our pixels, and everything looks great. One last little quick tip. Um, if you want to fade in your particles, you can keyframe the birth rate. And so that way when the frame starts, there's nothing there. And then when it comes back, they kind of come in over time like that. And that's pretty much it. I squeezed as much as I can into under 10 minutes. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I recommend... Uh, checking out videocopilot.net for any more information because they are an awesome resource for that. And once again, thank you. I'm Colin Wagaman. This is Edit Empire, and this has been brought to you by InfluenceEngines.org. Thank you.